Good evening, Mr. Riyadh. Good evening. Thank you for coming to Infosys and, and taking our time. Uh, today we are here to give you a presentation about our company and we would like to tell you the reasons why you should invest in our company. Uh, as you know, Infosys is the third largest IT company by revenue. Uh, it is an integrated end-to-end -end outsourcing and consulting services, uh, products and platforms. Uh, it has a global presence in 73 uh, countries and it has 93 global development centers all over the world. Uh, now the financial performance uh, has been great for Infosys uh, starting from the year 2012 to 2014 at, pre uh, at present. However, however, there are certain uh, <coughs> problems in the profit margins which will be discussed in the coming slides. Yeah, thanks, Vinika. Uh, so you see uh, the revenue growth in terms of dollars uh, from 2011 to 2014, it initially dipped till 2013 and from there it's, uh, it's uh, you know, reversed and we've had a growth from there. And uh, the slowdown in the traditional business, uh, this dip is basically because of the uh, Infosys 3.0 strategy that we had adopted, which we had launched, and uh, basically it was looking at diversifying our um, diversifying our offerings and uh, uh, increasing contribution for new technologies, and we also ventured into social media, cloud computing, and stuff like that. So. And uh, if you see the uh, uh, revenue from the non-traditional business services, the, the, un the unconventional business services that we've uh, been doing for the, for the past three years, it's uh, it's been it's been increasing, and it's almost 61% uh, of our revenues in 2014. And 33% of our revenues is coming from consulting and system integration, which is a part of our new uh, diversifying uh, venture. And um, there's, a, there's also a lot of uh, repeat business, uh, which is our main uh, strength. If you see, uh, the 98% of our uh, clients are from repeat businesses. And uh, there's been a strong uh, addition to the clients in the past five years, we've got about uh, approximately 150 clients who are uh, in the range of about one, 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 one to 20 million clients, and about nine we've uh, managed to get 900 plus million clients, and about 12, 50 to 100 million clients, so which has been a very good uh, addition. Even though we had those, uh, we went through a rough time. Uh, so Kamesh will just take it up from here. Um, yes, thank you, Prashant. Uh, as you can see from the figures, the profit margins have been under pressure. Our operating profit margins have come down uh, from 32% to 28%. One of the main reasons is we have been focusing on top line growth. So we have the market has become much more competitive. We have been reducing prices for selected clients. And also to win new clients, we have been increasing our selling and marketing expenses as a percentage of revenue. Moreover, to improve the employee morale, the employee compensation has gone up and has to increase employee cost in the percentage of revenue. However, to uh, reduce this decline in margins and to increase it, we are having a cost optimization strategy. The strategy, one basic important point of strategy is to offset the utilization increase, we are to offset the compensation increase, we are increasing employee utilization. It has increased from 69 percent in FY 2013 to 73.5% in FY 2014. Also, we are reducing the number of senior employees for on-site. This is another cost reduction measure. Now we are going to cover our balance sheet. You know, we have covered our profitability ratios. I will call upon Mr. Venki Tesh to cover our balance sheet ratios. Thank you, Ganesh. Adorias. As you can see, from an investor's perspective, you should know how soon you'll be, how much liquid cash we are having in the company. For that, you can see that the current ratio of a company is way above our peers. As in, you compare TCS, Telstra, and Wipro, they are way above that. Also, our debtor days are much longer. As a result of this, our asset turnover is much higher. Also, you can see that 
during the year 2014. Okay, so there has been a decrease in the current ratio due to increase in the current liabilities. If you take the solvent. Continue, continue. If you take into consideration the solvency position, we are almost a zero debt burden company. We are running fully on our equity, 80% on equity. Now, we move on to ROI calculations, which Kami should be taking from you. Yes, thank you, Vengadesh. Now, we will move on to the ROI calculations. Now, we will look at this. Our ROE has declined from 28.5% in 2012 to 24.2%. The main thing would be that the profit margins have gone down and the asset turnover. Now, how do you plan to deal with this? What is the going to increase our turnover to improve sales and delivery effectiveness? And regarding the profit margins, the government has the cost optimization strategy which was discussed earlier. And hence, we expect ROE to increase going forward. If you look at the share price performance, 2012 13 was not a good year because we were underperforming financially related to our competitors. And in 2013 14, we have share price has increased, but however, it is still underperforming our key competitors like TCS, HCL, Wipro, who had much higher gains. Now, when you look at valuation metrics, if you look at Infosys, its PE ratio is only 18.2 currently, whereas when you compare it with TCS has 23, HCL has much higher ratio. So, when you, what are the factors? And this plus also looks a great opportunity because plus the, the currently investors lack confidence because of the financial underperformance and we expect a re rating once the strategy starts delivering the results and then <coughs> the good of them because the P ratio increase, the prices will go up per se, plus apart from the normal growth in earnings. Now I call upon you, if you have any questions you would like to ask, please go ahead, Mr. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what can you say about the demand environment? The environment has been much better uh, when you compare it uh, to the four or six quarters. Uh, the, it has been growing uh, vertically and across different geographical boundaries. Could you elaborate on the demand environment, geography-wise and vertically? Well, geography-wise, the US is much better than Europe. We are seeing great opportunities in Europe, primarily because non-UK market was still small, but now it's opening up, particularly countries like Germany, France and Nordic countries. Also, we acquired Lowstone, a consulting firm based out of Europe, which is uh, helping us win consulting contracts in Europe. Coming to vertical wise, we see a lot of opportunities in financial sector because of the regulatory changes, as well as retail and digital consumer mobility. Our manufacturing is slow, a lot of challenges in the telecom sector. I have a few questions regarding the management style. Why are, the, uh, why are a lot of senior people leaving the company? As you know, there has been a lot of political turmoil, a lot of exits, many senior people at the company. However, now we have got a new CEO, Vishal Shikha, who was a previously in SAP. He has a lot of credible experience in SAP. And now with cloud computing, it's being going to be our primary focus. We expect that the management changes will be very positive for the company. And he's the person, first as you know, first non-founder CEO of the company. So overall, yes, there has been a lot of attrition recently, particularly in the senior level. However, we expect things will stabilize now and that going forward, we can see much more smoother management of the company. Okay. Can you give me further reasons to invest? Uh, I can summarize some top four reasons why to invest in for this. Uh, as uh, economic growth can grow in Europe and US, and we expect the growth rate of imposes to be around 13 to 15 percent by 2015. Uh, that can be regarded as a top four reason why to invest in Agency. Secondly, uh, we expect to diversify into new markets to reverse its business model and uh, on the process we will be moving up the value chain. Thirdly, uh, we have been able to garner 8 new diamond clients during uh, quarter worth, worth 730 million, uh, that is over the last 5 years. And these clients are expected to generate uh, a seriously huge cash flows in the future. And uh, coming to the last point, uh, the management has revised its revenue for the next fiscal year uh, 
to 7.45 billion from 7.34, um, which is a huge change. And uh, that is one of the foremost reasons why to invest in India. Thank you. I really like the presentation I was just going to talk about. Okay. What do I think? <coughs> And we say that we like to invest in the company. So we will uh, we'll appoint a team to decide the structure of the deal and uh, the valuation for the deal. We look forward to picking up a stake in a company to the secondary market. We will be an important but passive investor in a company. Let me empower for the population. So what you can say is that I am now convinced that it's a good investment opportunity. Post your presentation, and I will convey this to my. Come here, you only say it. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. I have to say first. Okay, I'll just get back to you with the proposal. I have listened. You know, I have had a look at the proposal, and we'll get back to you. That's it. Just end it there. I I won't say right away that I'm ready to invest. No. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Just say this. This is. Yes. Yeah, I, I'll get back to you on the proposal. Thank you very much, Max. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.